So today we're going to change our battery. You're going to need a new battery, a screwdriver, some nose pliers, and a headlamp if you work in crapping conditions like I do. And you're also going to need a hand or two. First, we will have to remove the seat since the battery is located under there. Some helixes have some little thing here. I don't have it. So just pull that out if you have it. Just pull up and it releases it. Always make sure you put a towel or something to keep your seat from getting scratched. And just pull it forward towards the handlebars. Now we can unscrew the screws from the battery. This battery is completely dead, so it doesn't matter where I start. You should always disconnect the negative black cable first, then the positive red cable. We're going to unscrew the other side now. These two wires are part of my light kit, so I'm just going to move those to the side and just remember to place them back. We'll have to remove this band being held by this evil D-ring that has given me trouble many times. My first time removing this battery, I asked for help in a helix group and I was actually bullied for not knowing how to remove the band. I was just so frustrated that I couldn't get this band off. I was ready to cut it out. But thankfully, there are some cool guys in this group and one guy even made a video for me to learn from. Now here I am trying to show everybody else what not to do. <laughs> trying to remove it from the bottom wasn't working. Before we move on, just wanted to let you guys know that you can actually access that buckle on the other side of the battery, which would probably be easier, but I like to struggle. So let's get back to me struggling. Honda really makes these bands really tight. So I decided to tackle it from the top again and hopefully pry it off. <sighs> this thing oh, gives me hell. Oh shit, how did I get this out last time? It's one heavy ass battery. There we go. <sighs> Goodbye old battery. Save them. I'm going to create a label with the date so I can remember when I replaced this battery. I honestly always forget. I always write it down and I lose the paper. So the next best thing is to create a label. The battery pack came with these bolts and screws, so we're going to use the fresh ones here, like this square bolt. I'm going to put it inside here.
When putting the battery back, connect the positive red cable first and then the negative black cable. We're going to repeat the same thing on the other side by inserting the bolt and then the screw. Well, that's one way to find out your lights are working. Learning how to change my battery for my scooters is something I really am happy that I know how to do. Because this year, both my scooter's batteries died, and I had to change both of them. So it was kind of a, an interesting start to my riding season. Oh, you know what? When you change your battery, please use the front buckle. I just like to be in the struggle bus, as you can tell. The pliers work way better to remove the buckle, but they kind of suck when it's you have to put them back. So I just used my hand. Making sure the positive is covered with the little rubber it comes with. Please like and subscribe. I don't post every day, so turn on that notification. What do you expect? I'm a small channel.